Okay, so now what we're going to do is replace the wet kit on a 2 inch PS830 aluminum pump. So the wet kit, the old wet kit would have been a Viton, Viton stainless steel seat with the Teflon or PTFE O ring. So what we're going to convert it to is going to be the full stroke PTFE with the TWS backup. So it's going to have a Wilflex backup diaphragm, PTFE valve bolt, and still use the PTFE O ring. So we'll all open up this kit and we'll start chasing stuff over. So, using the same exact hardware that was in our FKM diaphragms, all we're going to do is use the, the uh, using that same twisting motion. We want to get it to go past the glide rings. Sometimes on those new seals it gets a little touchy. So put it down, twist, and we should get those to go right through. So with that twisting motion, we push through to get to the second side, then we push through. Coming over this side, flip it over, use our inner piston, our backup diaphragm, our primary diaphragm, and our outer piston. So we get it started hand tight first. Once we get it there, it's good to put a liquid chamber on. So earlier we said this is the bottom, the port here at the top. So we'll go ahead and lay our chamber down the same way. Bottom to the left, top to the right. And we're going to drop that chamber on, get that start. Get all of your fasteners started before you start tightening anything down. diaphragm in place so we can properly torque this diaphragm. So set that to 100 foot pounds. Like we said, those flat spots are your friend, because now we can lay it down directly on its side. We'll put the liquid chamber on to match the same way on the other side, your bell housing on your bottom. Again, the simplicity of having a fixed fastener means you don't have to have a washer and a nut on the back side. You simply just get the thread started and you're good to go. So now we'll load up our valve balls, drop the seats in where the radius in there is where the ball is going to sit against. So that goes in, square cut goes up, because that's also the seat o-ring and the manifold ceiling o-ring. So we put those in where the, where the groove is at, and we simply put the bottom down for right on. Again, designed with ease of maintenance, all bolts are easily accessible. Now we'll go ahead and put the top manifold on. Same thing here. I'm going to load up our seals. Put our valve seats in. Put our manifolds in. Get those lined up. Get all of your fastener started so there's no chance of cross threading. And that concludes the wet end rebuild of a PS830 aluminum fit pump.